Well, it, while we're on the topic of just other Twitch streamers, I just I I I was just curious. I'm really not trying to like. Hey, Harris is over here trying shit. to start, bro. No, Let's no, go. no. I, How do you feel mind, about bro. this guy? Can you commit I, to a statement on this person? All right, you're you like know, you're like the kid from like recess, like the 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 guy with oh, the notebook. Yeah, you know? Randall. Randall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I fucking hate no, it, I don't want. I don't want that. I don't want. No, that no, no. Tell that, me. It's so, fine. But... Yeah, I'm. I'm open about all of it. Yeah, hit me up. Well, I was just curious because you brought it up last time, and we didn't. I don't think we talked about why. But why does uh, Hassan have you blocked on Twitter? Well, how did that happen? He doesn't wait. He doesn't have me blocked on Twitter. He just um on his Twitch, like his mods auto block, like everything. Like his his community, like um, is is oriented towards like barring me out. Will um, you guys be? Are you not left enough for him? What's like the big? Okay, are you the boogeyman for the, them? So the problem. Okay, I don't really dislike Hassan at all. I think he's pretty funny and a cool guy. The problem is like he's very emotional and he's he also wants to be like an e boy more than anything. He is an e boy, but he wants to keep being one, and <laughs> nothing's gonna How stop him. How old is he? He's like thirty one, I think. So he's a, little a little too old to be an e boy. He's an e man. You hit twenty eight. Yes, he's, he's an e man. man. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he yeah. wants to be an e man or an e guy, uh -huh. if you will. Um, sure. and he, um, I, I feel like there are some like aesthetic hills that you don't want to die on. Right. The main thing, the most recent thing is like with the Ukraine war and shit, like he was saying some, some shit I thought was pretty irresponsible. You know, my community was calling him out in my subreddit and stuff. Right. Cause he was saying some pretty bad stuff. He's a really big figure, you know? And, uh, he DM'd me asking me to tell my community to not shit talk him. Meanwhile, if you say anything positive about me in his chat, you get banned. So it's like, what the fuck? No. Um, yeah, what the hell? I, I think, I mean, I just think it's like, I, I think he just wants to like cultivate like, like a very consistent and very um, uncontroversial sort of like fan base. Because that's how you get really big, right? And in my case, since I just sort of dredge controversy like along my foot, the way you, you would like toilet paper after you get out of the bathroom maybe he just he's kind of half off with that or whatever anyway like i think he's a cool guy or whatever it's just man his mod team fucking hates me though they'll ban you in an instant for defending me in do any you think of his... he has anything to do with that or it's just the mods my guess is that he probably wishes they would be lighter on it but he also knows that trying to force a cultural change with the mods would be more trouble than it's worth like the benefit he would get maybe wouldn't be worth like the um so he's a coward the upper well maybe he's a coward well he's mm. a very he's an emotional boy he's a sensitive soft bean aren't we all are we <laughs> aren't we all exactly I, I you know it's i think it's interesting what you said that he's like trying to cultivate a uh like an audience that's like <laughs> non-controversial right like kind of uh you didn't say middle of the road but that's kind of what it like reads like in my Big head a bit you yeah. gotta pull in a lot of people because lefties will tear your throat out over any it, disagreement. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I was shocked when you, you commented on that comic that I said the word retarded, and you were like, I like that it says the word retarded. And I was like, oh, I oh. feel like Vosh's audience is not going to not gonna be happy about Wait, that which big one, wig. Which one was that? I over. don't even remember what fucking comic it was, but uh, it was like two or three months ago. But I'm assuming uh, you got ripped a little bit on that, but the, me the, don't know. The fucking the problem that I have, right, is that I feel like a lot of people look for signals of problematic behavior over problematic behavior itself, right? So there mm. are lefties who will disregard like progressive messaging if it comes out through an edgy sort of um like style. Like a good example of this would be uh, George Carlin, right? Like George Carlin, obviously a progressive guy, you know. But like mm. I feel like a lot of people on the left who view him today do so with a kind of like, oh well, it was the '90s, like meant like sort of mental filter. But if he existed today, he'd still be great, you know, in my opinion at least. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of lefties, I feel like, could be like, ah, oh, well, you know, he's still problematic, and it's like, I don't know, shut the fuck up, please. Um, not everyone can sanitize their language or wants to as much as you. So if you like instantly preclude anyone who acts that way. Um, you make it really fucking difficult to to build any kind of tent. Hassan gets this because he is kind of irreverent, and edgy, like within the limit. Because there is the limit if you want to be is a left he? creator. Is he edgy compared to a lot? Oh fuck! If you okay, do a watch tour. Go on like BreadTube or something and watch some videos from like bisexual lighting, like trans girls talking about media critique or something, and you will immediately understand that compared to a lot of these fucking people, Hassan is like a like a, a you know a, a fucking Al Qaeda member. For how edgy he is, he's like a, a goddamn ISIS insurgent. Um, you know that um, you know that video. 
you know that video of the uh some meeting of like leftist minds and it's in some like community center and it, it's just a compilation of people coming up to the mic and they're like guys you're speaking like really loud oh like, yes yes dsa like, that was you, uh you know what I'm about? yeah like, yeah dsa like 2019 or some shit that was insane like, Dude, it's literally like a 20 minute video compilation of just people coming up to the mic and just like saying some snowflake ass shit. <laughs> like, it's like, Bro, what is this? You just like, got canceled with Vosh's audience. I'm just audience. saying, like, I'm like, what is, what is, what are that you was, doing? What was the point of this meeting? Especially like, bad. I feel like, okay, I don't want to get myself in trouble here, but I feel like for Do a it. lot of people, social justice is really just the political <laughs> legitimization of narcissism. Everybody wants to be paid attention to, right? Like, not everyone, but a lot of people, right? Like, everyone does. I like being paid attention to. But, you know, it's difficult to get people to pay attention to you because people's attention is limited and fractured. You have to give them a reason. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, they weaponize social justice rhetoric as a way of, like, attracting attention to them because the implication then is that if you don't pay attention, you know, you're, like, you're, you're politically bad. Like, you're morally wrong not to right. do so. You're making yeah. a higher appeal. And that's what I, I think the DSA thing was that, right? It's like, okay... I don't want you all to clap too loud because I'm a bitch. But now it's not just me complaining. Like, actually, you're the one who's wrong for not listening to me. Like, you're right, the one yes. who has the impetus to change. And that shit's, like, really fucking toxic. So you're saying all leftists are narcissists. That's that's <laughs> yeah. what you, the point you're trying to get to. At least half of them, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. It, it does feel also like there's this new wave of... Um... Because the the left used to get criticized for um, just to clarify for Vosh's audience, but I'm like I'm I'm left like I'm with the shits, all right. I'm not trying to like I'm just saying like, uh, but I uh, it does feel like there was a period. Oh, we lost him. I, there, ADD. Does feel, Vosh is ADD. It, it does feel like there was a period of time where there was um, the right used to criticize the left. Oh look at that! I fucking love the Sphinx cat, dude. Dude, she walked by. So fresh. She's so naked. Look at her. Look at this is oh meow. What's her What's her name? Chicken? Uh, pigeon. Pigeon. We call her okay. chicken. Before oh, you do call her? Okay, I was kind of. He right. looks like okay. an uncooked chicken. Um, Dude, I appreciate that you were the the biggest leftist type guy I talked to who kind of agreed that uh, Hassan should box Sam. Well, I was kind I, of shocked on that take. To be To be fair, there's no way Sam would lose. I don't know anyone in the online space who would lose to Sam. He's he is a brick shit house, dude. He's he a, could fuck yeah. someone. Well, up. Did, fucking well, did you, veiny did, sausage. Did you watch the fight? Did you watch him fight the other guy? Because I, like, I saw the fight. Yeah. Okay, I, I watched the fight, and I'm not gonna lie. I I don't think he looked that good. He got like, winded it, very quick. He, he was. He he's got a, winded. He's quick. a big dude. Like he's obviously built like a fucking brick house. But I mean, I was surprised. I mean, I'm not a boxer, so I'm sure it's fucking exhausting, but he looked winded really quick. So, like, he slowed down really quick. The thing quick. is, like, boxing is an incredibly demanding discipline. It takes a For lot sure. of strength and skill and, and discipline. And the thing is, like, Sam Hyde is fucking schizo. So I have the feeling that he has fully committed himself to being able to lift a rock and throw it five feet in front of him. But, like, all of the supplementary skills around effective boxing are, are probably being sort of waylaid in favor of the rock-throwing technique. So, yeah. basically, mm. you know, it, like, if, if the game was keep away, like, run away from Sam Hyde for five minutes, and if he doesn't touch you, you win. Like, I think that's a good shot for Hassan. If it's getting punched by Sam Hyde and not instantly exploding, that's not one that I would take uh, Sam Hyde up on. No, yeah, I was. I'm not even gonna lie. I was actually kind of surprised when I watched the fight that they declared him the victor because, like, I don't you know. Thought it was even keel. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Again, I'm not like. I don't. I'm not into boxing, so I don't really know the technical like the technicalities about it. But I was watching, and I didn't think it was that clear cut that he even won. The other guy seemed more like cut out for the shit. Honestly, yeah. Do you, um, do you think that it's know. it's got to be like a psychological thing, right? Though, right? Because like Sam Hyde's entire aesthetic is about mentally dominating you. Like he's made himself as unattractive and bestial as possible in an in an, like in an effort like to win the fight <laughs> before the fight His begins. His picture was so funny of him doing the fucking like, like you know what I'm talking about, where he looks like yeah, crazy yeah. and he's like, yeah. like the Candy Man, yeah, absolutely insane, yeah. The Candy Dude, Man. I, I think a lot of people want to act like he's a mean guy, but uh, I think proof of him being a semi nice guy is uh, that shot that kept getting shared where he blew the fuck out of that guy with that one punch, 
as soon as it connects and that dude gets like rocked, Sam immediately in his body language, you can tell is like, Oh, Oh, are you okay? Like it, oh, it was like, he, that, was like, he didn't uh, know if his opponent was a Jew. So he, um, right. <laughs> so he was holding <laughs> off, you know, he was like, wait, <laughs> just, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dude, what would it take true. to see Vosh in the ring, bro? I feel like I with a, like a few months of training, you could rock some people. Bro. I think, I, How tall no, are you? Six dude, I, th I'm I think six one two. more, bo one six more bottle of Moscato, Ooh. and I think we'll get him in the ring. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the I'm, real Irish I've almost reached here, the bro. apex of boxing right proficiency. There. I, um, Harris and I were talking about how easy it would be to get a, a webcomic clash going because based on the people I've seen <laughs> who reveal their bodies, I think Harris and me could fuck some people up. Yeah, in the, yeah. Uh, okay, because like universe. I did used to to box a, a decent amount. Um, oh, and really? Because like, well, a lot of it's just technique. Like, how do you throw a punch? How do you like turn your head to not like give yourself a neck crick while dodging? We're down to whatever. six minutes, by the way. Um, six oh shit! Um, yeah, know, like a lot of his basic technique. I used to do it a lot, but I'm like, I'm really fucking out of shape. If I got super in shape, though, like if I really dedicated myself to it for a while, I feel like I'd be probably one of the top contenders for like the online, like politics, YouTube, whatever. Um, at least I, I, I think I would. I, I don't really know. I think I could. Yeah, I think it's possible. I think you could take a son, bro, because he looks pretty buff, but based on like the training videos I've seen, I think he's kind of soft. Um, if I if I get okay, I'll say it. You know if I, I had a year, Vosh I could take a song. Destiny. I want to see Vosh versus yeah. Destiny. Well, that so wouldn't would be too much of a fight, right? I know. You would stomp that dude. You would stomp him. He might. Well, he might. There, there's like a lot of it is like schizo energy, right? He might. He might fucking fucking vibrate at me or some shit. He might. He might just oscillate rapidly and and just annihilate my internal organs. I have no idea. Um. <laughs> His he's special got, move. Because I've, I've I've met him. He's got a he's got a glint beneath his eyes. You know, he's got a, you know. Does he? He, <laughs> he gives me the Napoleon complex vibes. Anytime I watch some shit on him, bro. <laughs> he yeah, br he just bro. bring a rock in his pocket <laughs> and just fucking hit me. <laughs> the secret. I'm filling uh, up this boxing glove. Would you? Uh, Dude, would I'm you... loving giggly Vosh, bro. We I gotta know. get you a drink just, anytime I'm... we have you on. It's funny. They're funny guys. Really though, if you um, that's how you that's how you talk to people. That's my lesson to the rest of you. You know, like Sam Hyde, for example. Sam Hyde's a Nazi, but I mean he's undeniably very funny at times. You can't really get around that. But he's also a Nazi. You know? So if you want to point that out, sort of as an acknowledgement while making other comments, you don't say, um, reminder to everyone here that Sam Hyde is a Nazi. No, you just say. Oh, well, yeah, because he didn't know if his person he was hitting was a Jew, you know, because it gets across the message, but it's funny. You don't 